Hi, welcome to this brief video that will cover how to manually relink tables in the HR Data Manager. There's already a video posted on how to uh, map the front-end HR Data Manager application to the back-end file, uh, let's say on a network or, or whatever location it may have been moved to. But in some cases we've run into an instance where there's an issue with that and it has to be manually done through the Microsoft Access uh, interface. This will only work if you have the regular purchase version of Access 2007 or Access 2010 um, either purchased individually or it comes with uh, Microsoft Office Professional and above. Um, but the runtime version that comes free, uh, this method won't work. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm right now I'm loc in the location for the HR Data Manager installation down under C, Program Files, HR Data Manager. Um, it's Program Files x86 because I'm on a 64-bit machine, and uh, it's possible on yours that it just says Program Files. But that's the default location for the HR Data Manager installation. I'm going to go ahead and click once on HR underscore data underscore manager dot ACCDE. I don't want to open it yet. I just want to click it to select it. This is the file that is opened when you click on the icon for the HR Data Manager. This is where it points to this file right here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard and I'm going to keep on holding it. And while I'm holding that down, I'm going to go ahead and double click now on the HR underscore data underscore manager dot ACCDE. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep holding that shift key down until access opens and I can see the blank screen. Then I'm going to go ahead and let the shift key go. So what we've done is we've opened up bypassing the normal uh, interface and forms for the HR data manager and we're just we have the file open, but we're just in the bare Microsoft Access environment. So I'm running Access 2010 here. And for Access 2010, I want to go ahead and select External Data. If you're running Access 2007, you'll want to select Database Tools. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and select External Data. And whichever tab you selected, what we're looking for is Linked Table Manager. So if you go ahead and click on that, it brings up Microsoft Access's built-in Linked Table Manager. And we want to click the Select All button. And then we want to come down and check the checkbox that says Always Prompt for a New Location. You can see in here right now that all my tables are mapped to a location on the C drive. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select OK and it's going to bring up a box allowing me to browse to where the data file I want to link to is. And in this case I'm going to go out to my network, my S drive, and select the HRDM data file that's there. In your situation it may be in a different shared location depending on uh, what you're set up with from your IT department or, or where your network share is. I'm going to go ahead and say open. And now this step may take a few minutes because it's going through and relinking all the tables. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you should see a little progress bar and it says refreshing link tables. And again, how long this take depends in how long it'll take depends in large part on your network speed, um, computer speed, and all that. Uh, the idea at the, at the end is to get this message we just popped up with: all selected linked tables were successfully refreshed. And we can go ahead and say OK and close and then we can actually exit all the way out and then using your regular icon you can go ahead and launch the HR Data Manager and you should be able to verify that it's now linked to the new location. Thank you for listening to this brief video on how to manually relink tables in the HR Data Manager. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye.